Well, hello, hello, y'all. It's Latka, here with some Victoria 3. Now, the uh, the last two episodes I uploaded of this, um, I managed to take a... Well, it wasn't exactly thriving, as it was in the negative already, but I managed to turn that negative into something extraordinary. Uh, two digits of negative, and that... <laughs> um, it did not go well, but hey, you know... I messed around a little on my own and I figured out like a, a good way to <clears throat> finally go positive and stuff like that. So we're going to play Cape Colony again. I want to make Cape Colony successful. So we're going to do just that. Uh, I'm not going to turn on iron mode just because the last few uh, sessions of playing this it's crashed like every 30, 40 minutes. It's been pretty frustrating, but here we go. Let's start this game. Let's get to it. Pretty excited. Um, I do love this game so much. It's crazy. So we have unused construction pro production, an unhealthy economy. Uh, we start at, off at negative 1.10K. Uh, battalions and reserve, low market access everywhere. And we can support a declared interest. So first of all, first of all, we are going to get started by messing with the budget. So, <clears throat> unfortunately, right off the bat, we're going to get rid of the tax the consumption tax on grain um that may sound counterproductive as like we just lost 0.50 k uh but i found that if you don't get rid of the grain people become super radical and uh tear you apart so we're going to tax services and let's see i do believe liquor um Toxicant needs. All wealth levels. I think. I think it's either liquor or opium. That's kind of the choice here. There we go. Uh, let's look at our population here. Lower strata is impoverished, secure, secure. Where do I find our the peasants? Discriminated against, yes. Makes sense, we are in uh, South Africa. And unfortunately, Cape Colony is... Um, we're apartheid. Apartheid? Yeah, apartheid happens. So we're going to do our best to avoid that. We want to bring everyone together, uh, make everyone equal. That way they can all work jobs. <laughs> make me money. Um, also, you know, it's just evil what happened in history. So we're going to not allow that to happen. I don't know where to find the dang old intoxicant list. Um, so I'm just going to tax opium. I know I could get a little more off of that, but we're not doing that. And then we are also going to tax something else. Maybe tea, maybe liquor's the good choice here, right? 75 authority for 139. It just, it affects the people too much. But we're going to go with it and raise taxes. So now we're at 696, right? Um, before I unpause this game and go going, we are going to be positive. So also, government wages, going down. Military wages, going down. We're at negative 409. And now we're going to mess with some buildings here. So, wheat farms, I don't think I have soil enriching, yeah. But we can go to citrus orchards, which, is, which gets us some money. I do believe. Maintain vineyards. And maintain in vineyards. Yeah. Tools. 
Yeah, I don't think tools is good just yet because we are eventually going to produce our own tools, but we have none right now. So, butchering tools, please. Gold fields. Well, actually, I do remember one of these not being super. Yeah, there we go. Fishing wars. We can't mess with those, but what we can do is because we are a uh, subject of the of Great Britain uh, no one really messes with us so here's the deal right I don't need artillery I don't need artillery um, period like no one's going to mess with me yeah no one's going to mess with me just because of Great Britain being uh, over there go telling people not to so okay so we're in the positive look at that we are no longer uh, a negative economic country which is really good because um, let's uh we're gonna build some tea I believe I think tea is really good choice right off the bat um, because I noticed in the couple of playthroughs I went through, at the very least, uh, Great Britain, and uh, I, I believe it's pronounced Ching? I'm not sure. I'm not sure what the Q sounds in, sounds like in Mandarin. So, I'm going to avoid saying it as much as possible. <laughs> but, uh, this country and Great Britain really enjoy going to war. And we're going to unpause it real quick. Just to get things moving. We're going to look at our market. And we're not going to do anything on the market because we're going to incorporate both of these. And that's going to take up all of our bureaucracy. Uh, we need to do road maintenance here to support the infrastructure because it's using five of three but with that bonus it goes up to four which makes it a little less worse um and we want to let's see here what's the overview on here one active yeah that's fine so what we need to do right now is i don't believe a lot of people um like education access is pretty low. I, I think it's only at one. Yeah, so 10% education access. We need a workforce able to actually like work in our factories when we get them built. So we're going to start that right away. We're going to use promote social mobility, which gives us 25% education access and plus 25% qualifications to Cape Town, Cape Colony. And then, let's see here. I'm missing something, but I forget. Really, I just wanted to be positive. And I think, oh, no, 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 no. We need to declare an interest. So a good interest to declare is like right up in here, Spain and stuff like that. But I'm going to do like, um, actually, let's do right here, Spain and Portugal. <clears throat> well, do I want to? Yeah. So eventually, let's see here, Spain. France and Great Britain. Let's change this real quick. I'm sorry. So, no longer here, but actually in France. Why? Declare interests. Liberia. In France, please. And then, once we have that. Ooh. Excuse me. 
We have no diplomatic plays except independence. And uh, seeing as how we just kind of reduced our uh, military power by like insane amounts, we're not going to do that. <laughs> we're not going to do that. And then once uh, I feel like we're going to improve relations there, probably improve relations here. That's fine. And once our uh, interest comes up there, we can improve relations with France. And uh, hopefully, when the time comes, we use France to our aid when we declare independence. Because right now, one of the biggest things uh, that's hurting us is this diplomatic pact, and that's because we're a subject, and we need to get rid of that. Not as quickly as possible, but as in the safe as possible manner, you know? So, I think... Well, actually, let's see. Do we want to try to get any laws? I don't think we do. I don't think I can do anything just yet. We're at 69% legitimacy, which is nice. And, um... Yeah. Okay. We could reform. Bring in the intelligentsia. Uh, right now, what we want to do is erode... Like, all of this, you know? We don't want anyone being, like, 25% clout. That's insane. That's too much clout. So. We will eventually reform the government. Although, actually... Oh, also we need to research a technology. Um, why don't we... Let's reform. If I bring in the intelligence here, it lowers us by 8. What about the armed forces? Okay, by 14... Get rid of the armed forces. Bring in rural? <laughs> yeah, no one likes the rural folk. Um, about the church. Yeah, that's pretty bad as well. So we're just going to bring in the intelligentsia. Um, just because... What if I get rid of that? Woo! Yeah, we're not doing that. Uh, we're going to do that. So that we can have access to laws to change actually so autocracy no but landed voting yo no one's exactly mad at landed voting it will change our legitimacy by uh 10 which isn't good but uh but I think it's a good thing to do um, just to get just to get under the way you know get it on the way and once we enact it we can always reform the government again to bring in some people or kick some people out to, to do that so let's unpause the game let's hit that technology first real quick one of my general staff yeah no um, we are eventually going to go for steel, but we don't really care for that. Atmospheric engine, mechanical tools, the slaughterhouses would be good. Railways are good because we do, we will always have a negative, like, market access in the northern province, so it's, it can get a little... Frustrating. I think we're going to go with intensive agriculture. That'll help out uh, with like once we get um, some wheat, more wheat farms, uh, the banana plantation, which is really good as well. Look at that. Point three to thirty. Wow. Point thirty nine k. And then, yeah. Perfect. Let's unpause this game and get it going. So, unfortunately, like, radicals, you know, 
It's because of taxes. Right away. Low market access. Yeah. Expensive goods. Tools. Yeah. So we want to get this tea plantation up and running. Then, I'm thinking logging camps. Well, no, 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 no. So tea, bananas, logging camps. And then we build our uh, tool factory and start exporting crude tools until we can build a iron mine here. Because we need, we need to improve the infrastructure, but it's really hard to do so until we incorporate the country. So that's what we're going to do. Ooh, France interest activated. Let's improve our relations with France. Okay. Things are looking good. This will pop down and up. Um, but as long as it mostly stays positive, I'm, I don't care. Uh, that's just my experience in the game so far. So, yeah. <laughs> But uh, hey, at least we're positive, you know? We're putting money into the investment pool. Things are going well, like rural. Look at these green numbers. I love them. Even the fishing wards. Yeah. So, oh, politician has died. Armed forces. Okay. Not too... Oh, price of tea went down. That's not good. Come on now. I'm making tea. Pop this up one more speed. Let me see. Technology, cultures, journal. What does the journal want? Expand the wheat farms? We might do that eventually, but... Not right now. We need to get tea and bananas. And that will be a good start to our economy. A good little jump start. But when, uh, let's see, when Britain and Great King Ching goes to war, which they usually do, uh, it drives the price of tea up. Because Britain gets a lot of tea from uh, the Great Kingdom. And, uh, well... They don't get tea anywhere else, so then we can uh, fill in that need. So, it's pretty good. Landowners lost some clout. Good. Trade unions gained trout, clout. Not much, though. <laughs> they gained... Wow. I can't speak. I'm sorry. They gained... Clout. They did not grain trout. There we go. Oh. Maybe recording this first thing in the morning wasn't the uh, best idea. But, hey. We're here. We're doing it. Okay. So we do want to just... Honestly, there's nothing that's not going to have me make bananas. Next. And then we can do logging camps... And then depending on if Northern Cape is incorporated at that time or not, we might just make the iron mines and then... Actually, you know what? I have a bunch of authority. Let's encourage agriculture. Oh, I don't have any egg. No, I do have egg there. Get just a little more out of our buildings so yeah also that's a resource huh encourage that there and then we're using pretty decent amount of authority Nact national supremacy huh uh, I don't think so we're going to enact Enact landed voting. Against Morocco. Uh-oh. 
Okay. Pop that up. We got our T and we've doubled our income. We went from like plus 300 to plus 600. There we go. Now we're going to make bananas. It's all bananas over here in the Cape Colony, man. Um, and I'm not really sure how to create colonies just yet. But eventually I will learn and then hopefully we can do some colonies. But you never know. Uh, it might happen, it might not. I could uh, cause another cascade failure in Cape Colony. Who knows? Because I've only really gotten it to like positive and then I played a little more and honestly the game crashed and I was a little upset about that so I took a break. So I've only really gotten positive and then quit. So we're about as far as I've gone. <laughs> The only difference is, is like at the end I had iron mine, so I had tea, bananas, logging camp, iron mine. So we're pretty close, but yeah. Is this still, there we go. So when you incorporate it, it gains infrastructure and that's going to allow us to build the iron mine here. Once it's fully incorporated, it'll have an extra little infrastructure slot. So, let's pop this up to five. Let's go. Oh, baby. That went from 14 to two. Failed debates, huh? Okay. That sucks. Is what it is, though. Expensive goods. Ammunition. Okay. And iron and tools. Yeah. So that's why we're going to make some iron mines. Make a tool factory here. And just uh, really explode. And by explode, I mean like go up to plus 1k. <laughs> So, yeah. Banana plantation's almost done, and then it'll immediately start the logging camps. And then, so close, so close. We got a year left. How much do we have left on this? Almost two years. Well, you know, a year and a half, really. Whatever. Poli uh, politician has died. Interest group leader. The rural folk, huh? Okay. Okay. What's everyone looking like? They're all pretty happy with me. That's nice. It'd be nice if these guys were like one point happier. <laughs> and everyone's losing clout. Good. Good, good, good. In fact, they want poor laws. That's not going to happen anytime soon. Sorry, but it's just not. So, Yeah. Britain's gearing up. They want ammunition and artillery. Oh, what's America doing? Oh, uh, they're taking over the Native American territories, the Great Sioux Nation. That's what they're doing. Hey, bananas are done. On to the logging camps. One of the biggest things I've noticed is uh, that you kind of want to keep things low key until you have a very good economy to start building construction sectors. I think that's probably what killed us um, last episode is that I built too many construction centers and then just wiped myself out in, in money before anything could be built. So 
is what it is, you know? Is, in fact, what it is. We'll give, uh... Do we want to do anything? I don't think so. Agriculture. And unfortunately, like, we can't really do anything to bananas or tea uh, until we get, like, automated irrigation. So, you know. And automated irrigation's, like, pretty far down the list. Pretty far down the uh, technology list, because you need pump jacks. Right there. So it's... Like, we'll get intensive agriculture, but then you need to research nitroglycerin, dynamite, and the steam donkey to get pump jacks. And that's that's a good, like, 30 years. Or, uh, let's see. Probably closer to, like, 22, 23 years of research. So. Yeah. <laughs> Nine weeks left on the logging camps. How's this infrastructure looking? Five of five, we got five months left. Come on. And discoverable resources here. So um, we can discover more gold fields. If that happens, you know. Uh, so it's really good. This little uh, northern cape. Really good province to have. Really good uh, state to incorporate. So, And then this place will take much longer. 20 years uh, to incorporate. But it is what it is, you know. Gotta tax them somehow. So, because look. Uh, I didn't show you earlier in the episode. But if I hadn't incorporated these, they would be... Zero, 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 zero. And the only taxes I would get would be from Cape Colony. So, not good. Oop. Nothing under construction. We finished the logging camps. But we still don't have the infrastructure here. So, we're going to build the tooling workshop. Get that up and running right away. We should have enough people there qualified now to run it. Plus, it'll take a while, you know, 70 weeks or 90 weeks down to 88 right now. So, oh, landowners gained cloud again. Don't like to see that. We want landowners to become less powerful because they're the ones who want uh, to keep racial segregation. So we want to get rid of their power so that they uh, don't do that anymore. Ooh, British monthly. Hey, no significant changes. Look at our budget. Can I knock down the taxes just yet? I can, and we're going to. counterproductive to money growth, but it will increase our GDP because it'll increase the standard of living for people. Uh, and that's really what matters the most. So, yeah. Hey, we went up to prosperous instead of secure for our upper strata. Sorry about that. I had to cough really bad right there. Okay. Yeah. Look at that, though. We're sending so much money. I think it's like 10%. Or 20%. I'm not sure. But it is a significant amount of our income that we need to, you know, have them stop 
we will declare independence. Cape Colony will become South Africa, which means I need to, like, I think conquer most of this. I don't know if I need Portugal. I might. Let's see. Diplomatic lens. Diplomatic actions, plays. So I will. I need to cut that in half. Okay. And we went negative. Uh, probably low market access? No. Okay. So let's look at our buildings. Butchering tools. So it looks like this one can be changed. We want to do that. Can't really do anything there, but we can change our logging camps to sawmills and produce hardwood. But we don't want to do that, I guess. Uh, hardwood must be... Yeah, hardwood's not expens as expensive as it usually is. So we will not be doing that. But that knocks us down to that. And that's fine. We can run uh, negative for a while. It's just, you know, no one likes to see that. We might have to bump taxes back up, but we should be okay for a while. If it gets to that point, we'll, uh, we'll do that. But I want the GDP to grow. Literacy is at 37.7%. That's good. Could always be better. What are we in the nation, in the world? Hey, number 28 in the world for living standards. Not too shabby. Hopefully we can eventually hit number one. So. Is this incorporated? It is. And we got one extra point of infrastructure to play with. So we will be making an iron mine eventually. It says negative 2k and it will be not great uh, when we start it. But once we get tools up and running, uh, we'll be constructing crude tools at first, which takes logging camps uh, because it uses wood. And then we'll build up our iron mine and then switch to iron tools and export those so it'll be good it'll be good we'll get it up and running more bananas now not enough qualifications oh. we might have to do mobility there as well we'll do that opposition more members put forth demands more pragmatically inclined members of the trade unions, currently opposed to the passing of landed voting, have offered to change their stance were they to be offered certain political concessions. Such concessions would not be popular with the landowners, however. Okay. Um, plus 15% enactment chance. We're at zero, so we're probably going to have to take this. Landowners are at plus 10. That sucks. I'll lose my bonus from landowners, but yeah, it's just the investment, which investment pools, really good. Don't get me wrong. Absolutely amazing things. But right now, the I'm not putting in enough that it really matters, I think. Okay. I was just looking at that, that 6.9. Ah, uh, that's in the Northern Cape. Okay. And we're getting worse in our economy. Hopefully that changes once we get the tool workshop up and running. Hey, also, intensive agriculture. That's really good. We're going to research nitroglycerin to improve... Uh, the quality of our mines because we want an iron mine and a coal mine to get up and running for tools. So, 
that would do that. And then we also, because we got intensive agriculture, can do some really good things to our livestock and wheat farms. Hardwood now? No. Wow. Okay. Hardwood's usually very expensive. Oh, does it consume tools? Is that what I'm thinking? Uh, hardwood. No, it just produces less wood. Uh, okay. And then negatives, I don't like that. Come on now. Input good shortages. Glass. Oh, that's probably not for me. Just the British market. Come on. Let's bump this up to five. Let's get that tool workshop up and running. So how are we going to do this, you know? Ooh, mechanical tools. Nice. Because we want to take all of this egalitarianism. Pretty good. Does increase the standard of living expected. So, yeah. Do you have enough qualifications yet? No, you don't. Okay. And look at that. We're at negative four and dropping, or raising, excuse me. And oh, <laughs> we were positive, and now we're not again. Okay. Unhealthy economy. Yes, I'm aware. And if need be, I will bump up taxes again, but until then, I won't. Because uh, this tool workshop should really bump us up. Uh, from the heart of the sea? A new admiral has presented himself at the ports of Cape Colony, cheerfully acclaimed by his peers. However, the nephew of Jeremy Morinden has also postulated that he has the most profound interest in the same title. There are stories, if one pays attention, that sound so impossible that they should belong in a novel. There was a kid, the sailors say, that started his life in a whaler and was one of the eight men who managed to return from a terrible, terrible trip. For years, no one knew where he was. He wouldn't talk, refused to look a man in the eye. He then served in six different whalers and brought them all home safe and sound. Landowners? Yeah. Okay, so if I did this, landowners... Uh, gain a approval rating but then they also get uh, more clout so no we're not going to go with that we're going to get a trade union new admiral and laborers so unfortunately uh, admirals cost bureaucracy Which is absolutely brutal. I do not want an admiral. Can I fire him? What happens if I retire him? I don't know. Ugh. Did not want that to happen. Oh well. Oh, well, we'll get this tool workshop up and running, and then we'll probably call it for this episode. We got things going. Crooked connections. Oh, man. Landed voting is not doing well. <laughs> we'll take the en enactment time debuff. That sucks, but it is what it is. Turmoil in Swana. They must not be doing so well. 
They have gold fields as well. Yeah. Okay. How much longer? Ten weeks? Not too bad. Investment pool. Not too shabby as well. We are running out of deficit for a while now. We're, oh, hey, hey, hey. Diplomatic play started. Great Britain started a native a native uprising diplomatic play against Sari. Sahari, I think maybe? I'm not sure. Okay. Pop this up. And actually, real quick, I'm going to save the game. Uh, just in case. Just in case. What's this? Vernable Font? Yeah, I don't care about that. Britain will protect me, and even if I don't... Even if I don't join in on their wars. So, seven weeks... We'll probably expand the wheat farms just to get this to go away. Eventually. Yeah, not yet. Okay. All my buildings positive. Yeah, everything but fishing wharves are pretty jacked up. Slaughterhouses, let's do it. Hardwood? Nope. Okay, then. Perfect. Pretty good. Pop up that speed again. Didn't realize I knocked it down. Oh, well. And we just hit a million GDP. Nice. Please go away. I can't get... I can't make you go away, huh? Input goods, ammunition, expensive military goods, yeah. Okay, okay. So, infrastructure, we'll queue up the iron mine. Tooling workshops built, and that pushed us into the positive. Pig iron and steel. I can do steel? Damn, dude. That's pretty uh, ahead of the time. That's 50 tools. Uh, let's do steel real quick. Unable to fully hire? No, there we go. Um, yeah, we'll just do pig iron. Because I can supply it myself. War has broken out. Yeah, Don't really care. I can supply the... Uh, I don't understand why it's doing that. Uh, but we're going to do pig iron real quick. Just because as soon as this comes up, we will be fully supplying our own industry i won't have to ship in iron to run the tool workshop but right now i just i don't believe that number i don't believe this does ammunition take steel is that the deal Please, ammunition. Munition plants. No, explosives and lead. I mean, makes sense. Tooling workshops is now fully employed. Fully employed and then crude. No, still it is better. Okay. 
Uh, not doing it though. Not doing it. You may ask why, and honestly, I don't have a good answer other than uh, it just doesn't seem like it'll hold up in the long term. Bananas? No. Not enough qualifications, huh? I'm still boosting it, right? Yeah, I am. And they still have trouble. Okay. Low market access. This is going to happen in wars. Anytime the British go to war, uh, my market access is going to drop along with my income. Because they will be fighting in the seas. So... Yeah. Okay. Well, I think here's a good place to leave it off. Um, yeah, we got our tooling workshop up. We're leaving off in a positive note. Uh, we hit 1.1 million GDP. We're almost at 1.2. Yeah, we're, we're going somewhere. We're going somewhere. Cape Colony will be a good place to live uh, with no racial segregation, no apartheid. Uh, it'll be good. All right. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you liked what you saw, if you liked me... Ooh. War is ended. If you liked what you saw, if you liked what you heard, and what I mean by that is, if you like me mispronouncing every other word, um, yeah, hit that like button, hit that subscribe, leave me a comment. I appreciate it. Uh, you can even join my Discord in... Uh, there's a link in the description to the video. So, yeah. Thanks for watching. This is Latka. Have a great day.